Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shogo. Um, we start a bit different this time because I wanted to point out that I'm um, using the footage of my practice run for this level because I felt that this uh, was the best way to uh, represent the next sections. <laughs> so yeah, um, you're going to see me flail about a bit uh, more than usual. And you're also going to get a good look at how this game is played if you do not know about uh, all the enemies and dig moves. So yeah, let's get to it. Front desk is up ahead. Head for the security gate on the left. You shouldn't have any trouble unless you start shooting people. I'll try to control myself. May I help you? I'm fine, thanks. Carry on. This is another decision point in the game. We can either follow with uh, Ryu's plan or we don't. Um, if we do follow his plan, we will have to go through an uh, extra section of this level, which is kind of hard and also has a pretty bullshit thing in it. And if we don't follow him, he will dig us over right, <laughs> right from the start. But the level as a whole will be shorter and a bit easier. As this is a 100% LP, I want to say, um, we are going to take Ryu's route. Shut down the alarm system for the entire floor. But you should expect trouble once I bring down the security force field. That's awfully nice of you, Ryo, but I think I can deal with anything that they throw at me here. Oh hey, an armed civilian. You will not surprise me this time. I got your number, buddy. Okay, sneaky, buddy, sneaky. <laughs> well, <laughs> his friend surprised me this time. Um, as I've already told you, this is my first run to this level, so I will be <laughs> surprised by everybody all the time. <laughs> also getting stuck on geometry, that is something that I do when I'm not recording in earnest. As you can see, I'm uh, playing pretty carefully here, twitching around corners and trying to scope out the area. I just expect bullshit to lurk around every corner, and most of the time I'm right. Okay, turn right and head for the elevators. Yeah, I'm going to do it in a second. First I want to make sure that this area is clear, because I have a feeling that I have to get through here again. And for some reason this jump is pretty hard. And I almost fell off the roof. <laughs> you will see me pop up the third person perspective a couple of times throughout this video. This is because I forgot my keyboard layout. <laughs> when I play normal games um, I have my jump key at the same place where the third person key is. So please cut me some slack. Extend the force bridge and head for the server room. <laughs> I like how he just walks about. <laughs> I spy something in the distance. And it's another armed civilian. I think at this point I have uh, made my hate for them pretty clear. <laughs> This looks clear. Or not. Okay, I've disabled the security matrix. Thanks for your assistance, Commander. You're no longer useful to me. Sorry to leave you hanging. What a surprise. What now? You're not gonna like this. What do I have to do? 
See that air intake tube? Gotta go. Oh no, we have been duped. <laughs> What a surprise. I'm going to uh, discuss uh, Ryo's motivations in detail in the thread. For now, just know that he's a damn asshole. Also remember how I said that this game came out uh, close to Half-Life and how Half-Life has good physics puzzles? This is crazy. Yeah, this game doesn't. <laughs> I will have to hit a small uh, air jet that will then suck me up into a tube. So uh, let's see how this goes. Yank! That wasn't hard at all. <laughs> no, seriously, fuck this, fuck this puzzle and fuck the physics. Uh, I don't want to run the Half-Life comparison into the ground, but I think it's valid. This puzzle is way more janky than it has any right to be. I mean, if you know that your physics are kind of janky, then why even include such a thing? Stop that Tony Hawk bullshit! Get off that railing! And here I should have uh, stopped, because uh, if you rewind the video a couple of seconds, you can see that there is a civilian just floating above his chair. <laughs> Take this as a hint as to how this video will go, uh, glitch-wise. <laughs> oh, you'll see. I have some things for you this time. In hindsight, I probably should use my uh, practice runs more often, because all the crazy bullshit only happens when I'm doing my practice recordings. What? <laughs> I swear I just crouched. I crouched and fell through the elevator. <laughs> God damn. Okay, here I'm uh, trying to find out what happens if the elevator comes back down, if it will crush me or if I can uh, if I can get back up. Just look at it. It looks like a face, judging me for even having the audacity to crouch in it. <laughs> This elevator is fucking haunted. And of course I have to reload. And the game keeps on being glitchy. Um, Ryo is supposed to taunt us at this point and just activate the alarm to take us over, <laughs> but he doesn't. <laughs> I don't know why it's, this episode is cursed. If you want, I could do the alarm sound with my mouse, like wee 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 wee. Okay, okay. Nobody wants that. No, I'm not going to shut up. Enemies won't shoot you through glass, you can take your sweet time and aim at them. So this means that uh, glass is the best piece of cover in this game. <laughs> And here we come up on one of the few secrets in the game. Uh, in this air duct is a pair of night vision goggles. It's the only pair in the game, I want to say, and you only need it to cross the dark uh, air duct, and this will lead you into a room below. But I uh, don't really know why they made that a secret, because um, the way you will take is the same if you just go down the stairs.
If you take the way to the air duct, you will um, exit through this door. But uh, yeah, I don't know why they made this a secret because I don't think that uh, this door is much more favorable than just taking the stairs. You can probably guess what I have to do here. Still having trouble with my keyboard. <laughs> well, you are. Because I'm damn annoyed by all the blabbering. I'm really losing my compassion towards civilians in this video. Mainly because they are so fucking annoying and on the other hand because everything is glitching. <laughs> I'm sure people pay attention to the signs around here. <laughs> and here I do something cool on accident. I still hate the Kato launcher, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> And this is something that I do when I uh, record my practice run. I take a look around all the nooks and crannies in the level to see if there is something worse of uh, showing in the real run. <laughs> I have no idea why they explode. Well, I'm not going to complain. And two birds, one stone. Beautiful. You're cheeky! He wanted to lead me into a trap! This is the cell block, and um, while there are many people imprisoned here in these cells, we only care about one of them. And there she is, Kura. This must be a mighty sweet jail if they let her keep a shotgun inside her cell. <laughs> I knew you'd come. It's good to see you again. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why didn't anyone tell yeah. me you were alive? They couldn't. I've been working undercover. My father assigned me to learn everything I could about the Fallen. What about Gabriel? Where is he? It's not so much where he is, but who he is and what he's fighting for. It's much bigger than you could ever possibly imagine. Save the puppy love for later. Those Fallen assassins are on their way to the prison area. Listen, the Admiral has issued orders to prep the Cato Cannon. I think he's planning to wipe out Avernus against direct orders from UCA High Command. If Toshiro and Baku are really there, they're in danger. What? Why the hell would he do that? I'm not sure. He won't talk to me. Try to delay him till I get back. Sanjuro out. Let's get out of here. And finally we have met Kura, the only person who knows what the fuck is going on, and she's also the number one cause of death in this level. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, she has a shotgun, and if she dies, the level is all lost, and so you don't want her to be in front of you, because she will die, and if she's behind you, um, things will happen. Yep, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> uh, I'm watching till she dies, just out of spite. Thanks, Kura. Thank you. Don't shoot me. I'm just getting all paranoid and twitchy here, killing everybody. <laughs> Almost shooting Kura. <laughs> well, we managed it. Let's get into the elevator. What, what are you doing? Stop being a ghost. No, stop that. Stop that, Kura. Okay, fine. Let's get out of here. 
the <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Stop! Stop being a ghost! Come on! No, I don't want to reload. I don't want to do this again. Come on! Why do the elevators hate me? And she's gone. She's actually below the elevator, and as you can see, the elevator won't even go all the way back down. <laughs> ah, I've told you, this is this fucking episode is haunted. It's cursed through hell and back. And here I pop her in the face, totally on accident. I was lucky that I didn't kill her. <laughs> don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Where's Kura? She followed me up the stairs. She isn't there anymore. Oh, she was hiding below the stairs. <laughs> And for once this wasn't Kura's fault, this is just a nasty ambush and I have really low health and armor. Yeah. So this is going to kill me a few times. Nope! <laughs> Man, that was quick. And here I'm being cool on accident again. I still hate the Kato launcher, but okay, okay, okay. He has it has a use. You can uh, use it to deal with nasty corner ambushes after you have died a couple of times. Yeah. And look at that, they even made a custom animation for the child. I told you that Toshiro is Gabriel. Well, that's only partly true. Does this have anything to do with Cathineal? Cathineal's a life form so vast that people have been looking at it for 200 years without recognizing what it was. It stretches for hundreds of kilometers under the surface of Cronus. Cathineal is the source of Kato. It's using Toshiro to protect itself. So Toshiro is alive, and I'm assuming Baku is Uzio. Baku's insane. I don't know what he's become, but he's dangerous. What now? I need to convince my father about Cathineal. He thinks Toshiro is a traitor. Meet me at the Oshi Research Station in Avernus. There's enough evidence of Cathineal in the survey records and geological reports to prove it once and for all. Why don't we just go together? I have some unfinished business to attend to. Besides, you're gonna need your MCA. Kura! Yeah? It's good to see you. Are you seeing anybody? The developers intended the love triangle and your actions to have an effect on the ending, but sadly it had to be cut, so this has no impact at all. Uh, why do you ask? Yes, it does, because this level is also pretty hard. Okay, uh, since a bit of plot has happened in this video, I think it's time for another little recap. Let's look at what we know. Um, as it turns out, Toshiro is the bad guy, aka Gabriel, but not of his own volition. He is controlled by an alien super being called Cothaniel. Cothaniel lives inside of this planet and he produces Kato, and uh, I don't know how. <laughs> 
Everybody wants the Kato because it makes awesome fuel for your spaceship, but as you can maybe imagine, Cothaniel isn't very keen on people mining him for fuel, so he mind controls people to fight for him. That's how, um, that's how the Fallen came to be in the first place. And as another piece of the puzzle, the Admiral also went kind of mad and wants to kill everybody with a giant star cannon. So I think we have our work cut out for us. <laughs> So let's get uh, back on track in this level. And we are fighting new guys here, um, the, they are Shogo troopers, and I think they are a bit more difficult than normal troopers. This is hard to prove, but it sure feels like that. Also the ultimate goal in this level is on the upper floor, but it doesn't really matter which way you take, because both floors are equally horrible. <laughs> And I get critted in the face. <laughs> Goddamn Shogo Troopers. Okay, this looks clear. Finally there's Romeo Bone. Nope! <laughs> Two guys, just right there, right there. What the fuck, guys? What the fuck? This guy also seems to take a bit more damage than other armor troopers. Um, and he drops a full restore and this is actually the reason why I went all the way down here. I really need that, uh, you will see, I just need that. See, 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 and I'm getting critted to hell and back. Yeah, good that I got this part up. Uh, and this is the end of the video. I hope you had as much fun as I <laughs> had in this fucking episode. Bye bye. That was too close. Uh, head back to the pumping station. There's an airship down here. If we can get aboard one of the automated transports, I can reroute the navigational computer to get us to Avernus. Oh.